Even though the major is still quite a while out, I just saw a really cool concept of what the new stickers might look like, so today I want to talk about why I think we'll see a sticker similar to this one, what the 2021 Stockholm major stickers tell us, and all that good stuff. So as always, be sure to subscribe if you enjoy, and right before we get into it, be sure to check out this quick pre-roll from the sponsor, Skins Monkey. Hello buddy, are you tired of your ugly skins? Nothing lost, don't skip the ad. Open skinsmonkey.com, trade your CSGO skins, and receive up to $5 bonus for free. What are you waiting for? Don't be a loser and trade on Skins Monkey. Psst, there is also a 25% deposit bonus. Okay, so first of all, just want to say that I found this design on Twitter by a guy named Neckit. He made a really high quality video on it, really cool hollow effects and a clean design, and not too completely focused around the tournament organizer like we've seen in the past, it really just highlights a team. If you do want to check this guy out, I will link his Twitter below, definitely check him out, he's got some cool stuff. What I also like about this sticker is that the tournament organizer logo is slightly just off to the bottom right just like we saw in the Stockholm 2021 stickers. People seem to be huge fans of these, not only because of the really nice hollow effects, plus a lot of teams just had really cool logos, but because unlike something like a London 2018 sticker with this massive design in the background that kind of took away from the clean looking logo, not to mention a pretty ugly hollow effect in a lot of the stickers except for a certain few, like the one standout to me would be the Norse stickers, but either way, People really didn't seem to love them, and they definitely didn't look great in-game, at least compared to the stickers we have nowadays, or at least the ones we have with Stockholm. That might have just been a diamond in the rough, one in a million, Valve is never going to give us that again, but who knows. What we can take away from this concept design is, number one, I think the hollow effect is really good. Hollow effects are something the devs are really going to have to focus on if they want people buying stickers in the next major, and not to mention, it'll be great for investors as well. Just look at how Stockholm stickers perform this time around, people really like them. People continue buying the stickers that were great on crafts months and months after the event has actually, oh, actually it hasn't been that long, I should say weeks and weeks after the event has actually ended, but they look really promising, people really like these stickers, they did a really good job with it. But if Bell want to use a design that has, I guess, a quote unquote background to it, like the Boston 2018 stickers, I think this guy did a really good job of showing that having a hollow effect throughout the actual background so it blends in and makes a sticker look really good and that it all kind of like flows together and it's not like you have a background and then the team logo, you just have the sticker, it all kind of blends in together. I think people would really like that. And if Valve want to go with another background, I think that'd be really cool. Now, if Valve wants to go with something similar to the Stockholm 2021 stickers though, I don't think people would mind at all. It's a clean logo. Once again, tournament organizer just off to the side and the bottom. But the thing is, I don't know if they would do this because the stickers would look incredibly similar to the Stockholm 2021 stickers. Wouldn't be good for sales most likely. And even though they look nice, why not just buy the old stickers or keep on to them and hold on to them, apply them to the next major when that comes around. There's no real reason to buy the new one if they look the exact same. From Vale's perspective, I just don't think this would be the best way to make money in the next major, just repeating the same exact thing. And I think we're most likely going to try something new and see something new from Valve as they usually don't tend to repeat like the same exact stickers. There's always some really notable design changes, whether it's in the hollow effects, just the background of the sticker, how much it includes the tournament logo, something like that. But since putting a background on stickers has clearly not been a fan favorite in the past, I mean even though RMR stickers were absurdly oversupplied, most of them are still going on the market for like 3 cents because they really just don't look good on crafts compared to these new Stockholm stickers and honestly I really overrated them when I first saw them. Like. To me now, these things just look gross, and I guess it was just because I was really hyped from not having major stickers in years. But the reason why I mentioned the price of the RMR stickers and just how many there are on the market and seemingly how little people want them is because Valve gets a cut every time something is sold on the market, and you probably don't want the stickers from a major being 3 cents because, I mean, nobody really wants them. You want something to look like the Stockholm stickers because even though a lot of the papers are in that low price range, a lot of the hollows are doing really well. Like, if you just compare the prices of RMR hollows to Stockholm hollows, it's absolutely insane. Valve is making a lot of money from it. So you'd think they're not just going to give us a really ugly supply next time around because if the stickers look bad, Valve doesn't make as much money. So... Especially long term, it really helps them out. 
So either way, I think we do know that Valve is going to include the tournament organizer in one way or another into the logo. They always do, whether it's subtle like last time or something really stand out like the concept art that I showed in this video. It's a pretty much a coin flip. There's no way we could know, but we really just got to hope that Valve gives us something good and hopefully listen to the community's response about the last stickers and does something based off that because people clearly like them. But Besides that, be sure to leave a comment telling me what you would like the new stickers to look like. I think that's going to wrap it up for this short video now though, so as always, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff if you did enjoy, and check out Skins Monkey as well if you want to get some cool skins for a fair price. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.